Hello everyone and welcome to an introduction to linear regression. And in this lecture we are going to get a light theoretical background history behind the idea of linear regression. Let's discuss the history behind the linear regression. This entire idea all started back in the 1800s with a man named Francis Galton. Galton was studying the relationship between the parents and their children and in particular he investigated the relationship between the heights of father and heights of their sons. What he discovered was that the man's son tended to be roughly as tall as his father. However, Galton's breakthrough was that the son's height tended to be closer to the overall average height of all people. Let's go ahead and take an example of this. Shaquille O'Neal was a famous NBA player and he is very tall. He is 7 foot 1 inch or 2.2 meters tall. If Shaq, as he is known, has a son, chances are he'll be pretty tall too. However, Shaq is such an anomaly in height that there is also a very good chance that his son is going to be as tall as Shaq. And it turns out this is the case. Shaquille O'Neal's son is pretty tall. He is 6 foot 7 inches but he is not nearly as tall as his father. Galton calls this phenomena regression, as in a father's son's height tend to regress or drift towards the mean or average height of everyone else. Let's go ahead and begin to plot out this sort of example. Let's calculate the regression with only two data points which is the simplest possible example. Here we have two data points x equals 2 and y equals 4 as one data point and x equals 5 and y equals 10 is another data point. These two little black dots all we are trying to do when we calculate our regression line is draw a line that's as close to every dot as possible for classic linear regression or the least squares method. You only measure the closeness in the up and down direction. Here we have perfectly fitted line because we only had two points. Now would it not be better or great if we could apply this same concept to the graph with more than just two data points? By doing this, we could take multiple men and their sons heights and do things like tell Sarah how tall we expect the son to be before she even has a son. And this is the idea behind the supervised learning. We are going to have a bunch of labeled data points, create a model, in this case a linear regression and try to take unlabeled data such as father's height and spit back out labeled data or prediction of the son's height. Our goal with linear regression is to minimize the vertical distance between all the data points and our line. So in determining the best line, we are attempting to minimize the distance between all the points and distance to our line. There are actually a lot of different ways to minimize this, the sum of squares error, sum of absolutes errors, etc. But all of these methods have a general goal of minimizing the distance between your line and the rest of the data points. For example, one of the most popular methods that we just described is the least squares method. Here we have a couple of data points along an x and y axis and we want to fit a linear regression line. And the question is, how do we decide which line is the best fitting one? We can go ahead and use the least square method which we discussed earlier. This method is fitted by minimizing the sum of the squares of residual. The residual for an observation is a difference between the observation, the y value and the fitted line. In this image, the residual are marked by the red line, the difference between the true data point in blue and your fitted model line, the black diagonal line. In the next lecture, we are going to discuss the logistic regression model. Thanks everyone and I'll see you in the next lecture.